Welcome to Skyrim Enhanced Edition on the Xbox One, ladies and gentlemen. Brought to you by Claymation Nation. The nation that brings like-minded gamers together to talk about the one thing in life that matters. Gaming. On this playthrough, as you can see, I am using magic. I will be playing as a mage. Um, specifically one that wears light armor, a traditional mage, uh, if you will. Normally when I do magic, it is as a battle mage, uh, with heavy armor and a one-handed weapon. So right now we're gonna raid this camp, uh, get some more loot to sell. Right now I'm also looking for the Shrine of Talos, uh, with the Thalmar Sacrifice. Uh, to get even more loot to help me in the early game before I get to join the Thieves Guild and everything. Oh, he just got shot right in the face. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's done. He's done. Game over, bro. Game over. One of these guys has a treasure map. And the treasure is quite nearby in a trunk of a tree. So we're gonna see if we can find that as well. I don't know why that guy's following me. He told me to split up. The reason we pick up the gameplay just after Helgen is because it's something we've seen multiple times now. Most of the people that play Skyrim today have played Skyrim since 2011 when it came out on November 11th. Remembrance Day. I was working at GameStop at the time, and this game was very popular. Little did we know at the time just how popular and infamous it would become, launching on multiple platforms. This alone is probably the third console I've purchased Skyrim on. But, with the enhanced graphics, it is definitely worth a purchase if you have not played this on PC with mods. Thankfully, the PC community did have access to the mods, and they have seen just how beautiful this world can be. This is new to us Xbox One players, console players in general. This is a new concept, and we also get mods on this version of the game. I will not be using mods in this playthrough very early on, but I will be in the future. Now these stones and this hunter hut on the riverbed, those are both near the Shrine of Talos, so we're getting close. It's kind of near the river, but it's still in the mountain. I think that's it up there, but I'm going to kill this elk first. Level up my one-handed skill a little bit. In this game it's hard to pick one specific playstyle because you're constantly having to switch weapons depending on your scenario. Maybe you have a weapon that does extra damage against certain things or enhances your light armor skill. Okay, this is the Shrine of Talos we're looking for. One of these guys is packing some really awesome loot and his name is Athalmor. They don't have names. They're dead corpses, but you get what I mean. Uh, should I really be eating bread that came from a uh, human sacrifice covered in blood? And there's Talos, ladies and gentlemen. And there's the Thalmor. Right there, boom. Iron armor. And the hooded Thalmor robes. Those will both sell decently. I can get a okay start in this playthrough. Destruction spell costs twelve percent less. To, eh, I get fifty percent faster magicka. Okay, so this armor reduces the cost of restoration spells by oh no alteration spells. Sorry, by twelve percent. I will likely be selling this to make some money in the early on. You can also disenchant it and put
Put that on some lighter armor. And that's the thing about Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. It's different every time. There have been playthroughs where I got something else off that corpse and I used it. In this one, I don't particularly need heavy armor and I don't really care for alteration right now. I'm using destruction in both hands, as you can see. Look at the river. The visuals of this game in comparison to the 2011 console version, it's undeniably so much better. If you haven't played it since that version, definitely try it now. Okay, let's steal some fish. Need that in case I have low health. Steal some coin. I'm gonna take that stuff in this chest. As you can see, I am naturally skilled at lockpicking as well as sneaking. That is because I normally join the Thieves Guild with the various benefits in gold and other forms. It's especially crucial to join the Thieves Guild early on. It is also crucial, when you see these stones, pick one that will help you in your gameplay. As you can see, each one is different. They provide a different buff for you in your gameplay. On this one, I believe I'm going to choose Mage because I've already decided what I'm going to do in this gameplay. If you're not sure what you're going to do, just pick whatever you think is best. And that's how you know it's activated. As you can see, I'm collecting flowers for ingredients for potions. In this playthrough, I will be making a lot of potions, leveling up that alchemy. Uh, sure, let's go up the side road. There's a mine up this hill, and uh, should be a bandit I can kill. Yep, right there. I'm going to go in the mine, because that particular mine is too difficult for me right now. But there it is. Keep that in mine for later. Oh, where'd you come from? Shocking, isn't it? More wolves. Oh, level up. Ding, 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 ding. Level two. Wolf doesn't know what he wants to do. That is why he died, ladies and gentlemen. Always be sure of what you're doing in life. Don't second guess yourself. More flowers for potions. If this is your first time playing, just follow this river, you'll eventually get to the town, and you will start your quest to become Dragonborn. If you don't know what that means, trust me, you will very soon. That's what Let's Plays are for. What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, his no mother. Think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen well, to the hair textures fantasy. haven't really improved that much, especially in comparison to games today such as Horizon Zero Dawn. Hopefully, that will be something that they change in Elder Scrolls VI, wherever it takes place. Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hold. Come here a minute. What a beautiful here, family man. reunion. Thank goodness he also survived. Helgen. The burning. Raylo, what are you doing here? Come. I'll be right down. 
All right, this is where I'll wrap up episode number one of Claymation Nation's Skyrim playthrough on Xbox One. Please keep an eye out for episode two coming very soon. Keep your eyes on the channel for more.